G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Oz Bushcraft. I'm Kane. Um, I'm gonna show you a heap of me knives. I've got a big drawer full of knives right here. Um, first of all, I want to show this was the sheath that I was working on, finally completed. Uh, hasn't been dyed or anything like that yet. Um, I do want to be. I do want to get uh, something to be able to clean it up and make it look a bit prettier. Um, but yeah, I com I'm laced it completely with um, artificial sinew all the way along around around the side there. It's just got a crappy strap on the back. I, obviously, um, the original one, which I got the design from, was just had slits through like that, which I didn't like that idea. I didn't think that was. Uh, I didn't think it looked as nice, so I, I just made a little part on the back of it like that, um, and it works fantastically well. I'm pretty impressed with with that. That's one of my better projects. Um, I do still need to clean up the edges a little bit, but other than that, like I said, I, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with that. It works works beautifully. Um, Obviously, I'm still learning how to do leather crafting. I want to actually get a kit to be able to, because I don't have enough tools to do it. Anyway, on with the knives. Uh, that was obviously my first one I was showing you there. This knife here is made in Germany. It's a little German hunting knife I bought about um, 15 years ago. And I only paid about 10 bucks for it, but it's a carbon steel knife. It is really, really good. It's really sharp. I've got no idea how old it is, uh, but um, it's one solid piece of metal all the way through with uh, leather. Um, I don't know what you'd call them. Just le just like leather strips all the way through, like and a little tiny bit of brass in, in there and in there as well. But yeah, one solid piece of metal all the way along, and um, it's just screwed in the back there. Um, so that's one of my absolute favourite knives, uh, being that it's the first real decent knife I ever bought, and it's just fantastic. It works fantastically well. Um, a couple of other little bits and in, in, in Bear Grylls knife. I know a lot of people out there are probably anti Bear Grylls, but I but I'm, I pretty much think that it's a pretty de decent knife. The, the Gerber knife here um, comes with a whistle obviously um, you've probably seen plenty of videos on, on, on YouTube about these knives um, fire starter in there sheath is sheath the knife can go in either way in the sheath I'm not exactly sure why that why that is uh, why they did it like that but um, works well for people either handed I suppose um, comes with a fire steel blade sharpener and survival instructions on the back and it with the little survival kit guide I've just slipped it in there even, even though it's probably going to be too bloody hard to get it back out again so that's knife number two Knife number three I, I showed in my last video was this Forsyth knife. Really nice knife, really big. Just made a um, 440C stainless, uh, but is still pretty good quality for what it is. And like I said in the last video, made in Australia, so um, good quality steel made in Australia. Uh, this one here also happens to be a Forsyth knife. I showed it in my last video. I showed um, all my Forsyth knives in my last video. And uh, this one here is a stupid knife <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it, uh, I'm sure it has its good qualities. I've never really um, taken it out uh, in bush and used it at all. Um, frankly, I, I reckon that curve on it's a little too scary to really use it. So I don't bother with that one. And it's a pain in the butt getting it back in the sheath too, so it's ridiculous. But 
it was I, I got it just purely because of the fact that I think I only paid about five bucks for it. Um, my my first buck knife I ever bought. It's just a five inch. I think it's a five inch. I'm not exactly sure, but um, very nice little knife. I didn't pay very much for it, but um, uh, it comes with a very good quality sheath, um, which is obviously it's made in America, so it's probably one of my only American made knives that I've got. Um, good quality knife as well, another uh, stainless steel blade as well though. This one here, it's called, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that but it's made in Spain, it's Mula, M U E L A Pioneer. I can't pronounce the actual name of it, but very good knife again. Very nice. Um, another. <laughs> I like my knives, so comes with a very nicely made leather sheath, um, and fits the knife perfectly. By the way, obviously, uh, very well done. I'm, I'm, I don't believe that it was handmade though. Uh, judging by the way that the, the stitching's been done and stuff like that, it looks a little bit machine done. Um, but the, the blade itself, the, the thickness of it is what really got me. I, I love the fact that it's a nice heavy duty knife, works extremely well, I keep it well clean. It is another stainless steel knife, but very sharp, very good quality uh, for stainless steel. Here we have my Mora, or one of my Moras. This one here, I got it as a set of two on eBay. I paid uh, about $15 for two of them on eBay. These are carbon steel knives. This is a fantastic bloody knife. I'm, I mean, I'm not too impressed with the handle, but for 15 bucks for two of them, I'm pretty impressed with it. It works really, really well. Comes in a plastic sheath. Not going to fall out. It's uh, been given a hole in the bottom of it. Obviously, if, if it rains, it's got a drainage hole and stuff like that. Um, the clip here is is a bit of a bother, though. I mean, I don't know anyone who wears a belt that's only about an inch. So it, it's sort of like you can't really wear it there. You, you pretty much wear it on your neck or something like that. But, I mean... And is one, that is one awesome knife for the price that I paid. If you're looking for a good quality, cheap bush knife, and it's carbon steel too, so it works well on your, um, your flint stick, your uh, Pharisee rods and stuff like that. Um, really good knife for the price that I paid for it. I got two of them. I keep a, a backup. I actually gave uh, one away to a friend um, because, of the, obviously, I had two of them. I didn't need two of them. Uh, I do actually have another one. Uh, this one here is a Winchester. Uh, pretty much, I, I know of Winchester guns, but Winchester knives is something new to me. Uh, still, uh, it wasn't an expensive knife, but it is good quality. Uh, I mean, look at the thickness on, on the back edge there. That thing is really solid. Not as good as me as the um, Spanish one that I've got, but still very good quality. I'm pretty impressed with that one. Um, I do, uh, that actually came in a pack with a folding knife as well. Let me see if I've got that one available. Uh -huh. This is the little folding knife that, it, that came with. It. So these things here are a beauty. I love these sort of knives. I've got a, a, a I love the feel of them, they're good, comfortable knife. Um, but anyway, I'm not really showing me folding knives today, I'm showing me um, fixed blade knives. Right, the next one on the list. This one here is a little bit of a joke, really. It's a, 
that's a survival knife, right? It's got the screw off back bit here and the little compass in there. Little survival kit in, in, in the handle there. I mean, this thing here, I don't, it's, I mean, if I had nothing else, I'd use it. Um, I got it purely, well, I got it cheap. And that's, and mainly for the fact that it has the survival kit in it and stuff like that. Um, and I just wanted to see how well it would work. I mean, as a backup, it may be okay, but I would, I would never rely on it, that's for sure. This here is my other Mora, Mora Sweden knife. I'm going to eventually make a, a nice uh, case for this one here. This one's a, a nice wood handled one. It's got a nicer feel. It's another carbon steel one. The blade's a little bit longer on this one than than that was on this one on the other one. You can see there. It's a, this one's a lot better than than this one here um, quality wise. I think I paid um, about. 25 bucks for this when I paid 15 bucks for two of those so um, really I, I, I got this one I, I, I paid more for this one but more you, you're not paying much for a ball of knife in, in all honesty and for a carbon steel blade it's pretty damn good um, but this one this one here is probably one of probably my favourite of the more out, out of the two more knives that I've got once again, I'm not really all that a fan of the plastic cases. I'm not really because I don't know of anyone. I don't know where I'd possibly get a belt that, that's skinny enough to fit that sort of thing. But that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of me knives. Uh, I do have more. I do have. Uh, See if I can find it. This there is the other Forsyth knife that I, that I was telling. Made in Australia as well, so it's a good quality knife. That um, Winchester knives that, that I've got, they're made in China, but good quality for Chinese, I would say. Um, these ones are handcrafted in Australia, so I'd rather have one of these. <laughs> And it's much better quality. Uh, apart from that, that's about all I can really, uh, and that's about all I've really got on hand. I do have a couple of, I, I do have like a, a couple of bigger knives and stuff, but they're um, not really what I'd consider uh, the sort of thing that I'd take out camping or anything like that. As it is, I haven't really been able to do any camping videos as yet. Um, they will come in the future. I'm not exactly sure when, because uh, in my first video I I mentioned that I was uh, I I battled cancer and all that sort of stuff. So I'm currently in the recovery stage after the cancer's been removed and all that sort of thing. So it's going to take a while before I'm actually well enough to be able to go and do anything. So once that once that's out of the way, I'm sure I'll be able to get some decent camping videos. Um, I'm going to show a few more leatherworking uh, videos soon. I, I, I do have a project in mind. I do plan on doing a, a, a quiver for the the bow that I showed in one of my other videos. And um, as soon as I get the tools to be able to do that, I plan on, on actually showing the step-by-step -step stages of, of what I plan on doing. Um, so anyway, uh, this was another video by me I think I went a little bit over over the limit so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again another time see ya